What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence. Today we're gonna to be checking out the single Checkmate by the heavy metal band Lamb of God. And like I said, Lamb of God is a heavy metal band. For those of you who don't know, they're from Richmond, Vermont. They started around 1994, and I believe that the last album they came out with was 2015, and the last single they came out with was 2016. Lamb of God was forced to take a hiatus for about four or five years because when they were touring in Europe, I don't really remember what country it was in, maybe Ukraine. If one of you guys knows, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what it is. Uh, when they were touring, a fan jumped up on the stage and Randy Blythe decided he was going to push him off the stage. Well, the guy ended up falling and hitting his head and he died and there was this big lawsuit and all kinds of bad things were happening with the band in terms of being imprisoned and just all kinds of stuff. So yeah, they were forced to take a hiatus. A lot of people are really upset with him for doing it, but if you've ever been to a heavy metal show, there's people jumping up all on the stage and getting pushed off all the time, and 99% of the time, they're fine. Apparently, 1% of the time, accidents happen. He didn't mean to do it. It was just something that happened, and it sucks for everybody, I guess. Moving on to the song now, which I was really excited about because I, for one, love Lamb of God, and I was super excited to see that they came out with a new single, Finally. And I kind of blame my excitement maybe on the fact that the song was just kind of bland for me. It wasn't memorable at all. It was kind of boring. The song starts out with this kind of solo-y arpeggio thing and then the rhythm guitar jumps in and it's super heavy and distorted and chunky and it kind of mimics the arpeggio thing in terms of chords. And then the drums come in and they're just kind of basic and it just, the whole song really lacks musical diversity and creativity and uniqueness. The lyrics are alright, the vocals are decent. I mean, if you've ever heard Lamb of God before, it's basically what you would expect from Randy Blythe in terms of vocal performance and songwriting. When the bridge kicks in, the song gets a little bit groovier and you can kind of start moving your head to it, but otherwise between the verses and the choruses, you want your chorus to be huge and you want your verses to be able to tell a story. And it doesn't really do that musically. The choruses are barely a step up above the verses. Like you want your chorus to be on a 10 in terms of wow factor. And you want your verses to be like around a five, but instead their verses are around like a three and the chorus hits maybe like a 3.5, maybe a 4. I'm sure that all the Lamb of God fans out there are yelling and screaming at me right now because Lamb of God isn't known for being diverse and creative and their wow factor is really minimal and they're not really that spectacular and flashy. But again, they're really just known for putting out fun, heavy, in-your-face, aggressive songs that just make you want to get up and start moving and moshing around. And this one just is not one of them. I still have hope for Lamb of God though. I blame most of this on one, the hiatus, and two, another factor is they lost their drummer who not only has been around since the beginning of the band, but helped create the band at the same time. He got replaced by a guy named Art Cruz who was in Winds of Plague, which I don't know that drummer, and I don't really know that band. And it's not to say he isn't good, but when you lose someone who's been there for almost 20 years, there's gonna be some changes. You could basically change up any musician in a band, but when you change the drummer, that's when things get kind of weird because the whole structure of the song changes, just everything kind of changes. And honestly, I think it might just take him a little bit to find his groove, but like I said, I still have hope and I feel like they can do it. But as far as this song, I, I, you know, it's sitting at a 2.5 for me right now. It, I listened to it once and just whatever, and I listened to it again, and I liked it even less the second time. So yeah, 2.5. But I wanna know what you guys think. If you've heard this song before, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought and what you would rate it. Uh, do you still have hope for Lamb of God maybe? Or do you think just missing Chris Adler, it just it's just kinda over for them now? And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I do upload videos. Doing any of those things helps me out tremendously and I will forever appreciate it. I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. I was strong.